Bow Witch is back everywhere. What is up my friends, my name is Echo and we're back inside of Clash of Clans today featuring an attack strategy that has returned to the meta all the way across Clash of Clans. We're talking about Bow Witch. Bowlers, Golem, which is the old school strategy that you guys probably remember from a year and a half ago. Before we go any further though guys, make sure you sub the channel, ring the bell. We got daily Clash of Clans videos for you guys right here, so make sure you are here for those. Now, I was casting the ESL mobile op with Carbon Finn and Inverum, and Space Station Gaming came through. Space Station Grey actually came through versus Tribe Gaming and tripled their base using Bow Witch. I thought about this and said, you know, Bow Witch overwhelmed that base, completely took that base over without using any healers, just completely overwhelming it. And I figured that I had to try out this strategy. So I've tried it out. We've done it many times and I've got a bunch of triples utilizing Bow Witch. Gonna be sharing with you, I think three attacks today and then doing a live attack at the end of the video. I want you guys to stick around until the very end so you can watch this beautiful classic spam strategy that was always one of my favorites for a very, very, very long time. And uh, well, we can do it here together. This was an example of a good, a good version of it. I guess we went in with that wall wrecker, quad quake in the center of the base to open some things up. Depending on the base, I'll switch up the Siege Machines. If I need to get a nice entrance, I'll use the Wrecker. If it's an anti-3 Town Hall 13, where the Town Hall is on the outside of the base, I'll go with the Siege Barracks instead. Either way, this strategy really does overwhelm a base. The number of skeletons, the witches shooting over the walls, the witches helping out the Queen deal with the Clan Castle troops. It all is just a perfect recipe for three stars, and we saw that happen over and over again in my attack log guys and ones that didn't they were very high percentage two stars some of them were like time fails and stuff like that so i'm still perfecting it myself i'm gonna put myself on the spot with a live attack which if you guys remember we have echo fails here all the time i never three star live but we're gonna try to today so if we take a look at my army composition, you'll notice we have three golem, old school classic golem, one ice golem, 10 bowlers, eight witches, a wall wrecker most of the time. Look at this base too. Three single target infernos. Those are like a golem's worst nightmare. You don't want to see that when you're coming in with three golem. We have a couple of cleanup troops. I am using a super wall breaker in case I need to break some troops in later on in the attack or, you know, at some time really soon early on in the attack if I can't get a wrecker in. It's just nice to have a super wall breaker. It's a flawless entry into a base in case you need it. Worth it in my case. Also, I'm bringing along two Rage Spells, two Heal Spells, the Quad Quake, and another Rage Spell from the Clan Castle, and of course, a Poison Spell. So right here, we have the Wall Wrecker coming in. You're going to want to set your Ice Golem with the Golem behind, with your Wrecker behind that, so you can really get the Wrecker into the base. And you're going to want to use the Warden. If the Town Hall is in the center, you're going to want to use the Warden a little bit early on to keep those troops alive. Seems to work out really nicely. Rage up those bowlers when they are all there, when all 10 of them are going into the core of the base, and they will go ham. And inside of the Wrecker, I put three Valkyries, one Yeti, and just a couple of Goblins to fill up the other little bit of space. Now notice this. The Town Hall is completely exposed. The Queen Warden can jump right in there, and here comes the Champion from the outside of the base. She's going to run herself around as well and get some massive value even with those inferno towers now the champion is about to do something pretty sweet here she's gonna go after the tesla but she's locked on by the inferno i have to pop her ability she will go for the archer tower actually she wasn't clutch she was not clutch at all she went down to that single target inferno i don't know about you guys but i fear those single target inferno towers they are always just devastating to me on my attacks and i would much rather come up against a multi-target even if I'm not rocking healers. But notice this. We have a golem still untouched, unscathed. We have a bowler. We have a few witches and that warden. And they are going to be enough to take out this base. Now the witch is walking around. We have two of them walking around with the bowler. The king. We're going with that uh, clock tower king or whatever he's called. The warden as well. And they are going to be able to spam out this inferno. Remember, all those skeleton spells, I mean, all those skeletons from the witches against an inferno tower, it just can't keep up. Plus, it's got that golem to break down. It's going to be an easy, well, maybe not an easy three, 
but an easy finish right here for these clutch witches as this the infernal tower is spammed out by the skeletons pure awesome spam bow witch i love it we got another example though guys and also remember if you're using a code inside the game if you're supporting a creator consider using code echo whenever you buy anything in game use gem stuff like that hit me up use code echo so this is my third example this one here against the base that has an entry kind of open already kind of inviting us in so i believe i switch out the wrecker for a siege barrack right here because we don't yes i totally did we don't need to go into the base with a wrecker there's, there's no real wall to break so we're gonna break the front of the town hall the back of the town hall and i tried to get into the other compartment but i was a little bit shy i misplaced one of those one of those quake spells but rip the dream can't do it all the time we have the golem placed on the outside, one down here, one up top with two witches and two bowlers behind each. I believe I actually went with four witches on the top that time instead of the bowlers, just trying to spam all that out. And then I put all the bowlers into the core of the base. I wanted that power going straight for those scatter shots, straight, straight for that town hall. Two single target infernal towers as well. The heroes, we plowed right through everything and were able to take this one down really quickly. The town hall went down. We got the poison spell, which I was even late on. Didn't get that poison down right away. Town Hall goes down, then the poison, and we have one more scatter shot up. But look at that. The P.E.K.K.A. from the Siege Barrack one-shots that thing, takes it down, and right now, everything is kind of spreading out along the base. In the core, we have a Raged Up Queen. King Queen ability is still intact. Royal Champion is going to be dropped in over here. Yeah, she's coming in right now on those Expos. She's intact. Giant Bomb. The Queen is going to take down that Eagle Artillery. Royal Champion's ability is being used right there. She's going to get more value, taking out a couple more defenses along the way, but not a ton. The, e the Expo, actually, I'm not getting as much value out of my Royal Champion as I would like to see. I got to put her in somewhere moving forward. I have to put her in somewhere where there's just there's just more tanking, more troops around her to take the fire so she can get more value and pick away those defenses along the way. I'm going to try to remember that when I go in on my live attack in just a moment. Remind me. You got to remind me, guys. And the best way to do it, throw a thumbs up in the video. Hook me up with that thumbs up, and I would appreciate it. Now, check this out. A single target Inferno Towers there. But we have so much getting into the base right here. Look at this. The, cl the clock tower, I, I believe it is. Is that what it's called? The clock tower? I think it is. The clock tower warden. Uh, town, no, king, trying to get through there, busted open the wall, allowed everything to get in there to the Inferno Tower, pulled in the triple, but now it's time to do this one live. If you take a look at the composition right here, it's one of my quick trains. Where is it? Bow Witch, you'll see it costs 6,000 dark, 81,000 elixir. So, elixir light, but it's pretty dark heavy. Good thing for me, I'm totally 100% max level, reminding you again to use code ECHO, so we don't need any loot. We are just going in here and doing some attacks for fun. So let's go ahead, find a match. You'll see my clan castle composition. We have a wrecker. We're hanging out in the scrappy wizard, so thank you guys so much for the CC donations. Wish me luck. We're doing this one live, and we're going in right now. And something I really don't like coming in against are ring bases. I just don't like them. They give me problems all the time. But we're going to go at this one because, well, we have to. This is Legends League. You are not given a choice. So we're going to go with a golem and two witches and two bowlers. We're going to go here with a golem, two witches, and two bowlers. Then we're going to go with the... Uh, let's actually... Let's... Yeah, we're going to go with the... Ice Golem, Golem, three witches, we're going to go King, Queen, we're going to go with the Warden, and we are going to switch this out for the Wrecker, going right in, I'm going to get the two Wizards there to help out as well, and then the Bowlers, we got to get everything going in ham here, we want to open up this base and get right inside, now I'm holding off on the Wrecker, I'm going to actually send a, will that actually go in and help that Wrecker out, maybe, oh yeah, it did a little bit, but a little too late, we're going to go with a Rage spell right in here, Looks like we've got to go with the quad quake to open that up because I did not protect everything as I should have. We're going to go with a heal and a rage over here. Things aren't pathing properly. Nothing is going to the town hall. I told you that I struggle when I go in and do these things live. I'm going to go with the Grand Warden's ability right there. I didn't even use my poison. Rip the dreams, guys. Man, I just get so flustered when I do them live. This is why I will never be a pro player. I'll represent pro teams. But to be a pro player myself, it's not going to happen. We're going to have to pop the ability right here. And uh, Champion's going to clean out a bunch of mess, but the Town Hall is still up. Man, you know, 
Maybe one of these days I'll be able to do this right and look okay on stream. But until then, I'll just completely uh, keep going on with my echo fails. Donut bases. I hate them every time. Give me an anti-3, please, and I will do okay. So this tells you that uh, everything that we just talked about, I didn't prove it. I didn't prove it for you guys today. I'm sorry. So I guess what I need for you guys to do is prove it for yourself. Train up the army that I showed you, practice it in friendly challenges, and let me know if it works in Legends League for you. It works for me most of the time. Not most of the time, but it works for me a lot. A lot more than any armies have been. Unfortunately, not in the live today. But you know what? If we do it here in the channel, you see it here in the channel. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. So my one star rip fail, you guys got to see. Feel free to laugh at me in the comments if you want, guys. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. I loved making it for you guys, bringing you back to the classic attack strategy, Bow Witch. Hope you guys have a great day. Remember to check out this video before you go. Remember, be safe, guys. Be good.